In this video, we're going to be reacting to a video from the TYT Network where they discuss the topic of passport bros are fed up with American women. Let's see what this very progressive news source has to say about passport men. Let's get right into it. Hey, there's a lot of fun things to do out here in Thailand besides just looking for a wife. People here are fun and friendly. They have a beautiful culture, amazing food. You can live like a king for like $2,000 a month. I'm traveling the world right now. I'm a single guy and dating, so I have an experience and it's absolutely the truth that it's better. I'm sorry, I don't know what you want me to say. It's the inconvenient truth you guys don't want to hear. Hey, we're out here having fun, living our best lives, and if you think you're gonna stop us with some middle school this is about, oh, you're a loser, you got another thing coming. I don't even know you. And Thailand does look fun, mm -hmm. but that gentleman is part of a subculture in America. They're referred to as the passport bros. Who are the passport bros? Well, they're individuals who aren't really satisfied with their options here in the United States. Mm -hmm. And so they are traveling the world in search of a partner, of a wife, of someone to share their lives with, John. Let's watch more. Oh, you yeah. are passport bros? What is a passport? Okay, passport bros are men that are so fed up with Western women because we're all apparently so woke and so terrible and Western women don't want to be wives that they are now going to other countries to find wives. That's like which countries? Southeast Asia, the Philippines, the Dominican Republic. So it's like or, the opposite of the mail order bride. Yes, like, exactly. Okay, so yes. instead of ordering out, instead of using stamps.com. Yeah, <laughs> and bringing them here, right, they're, they're like, they're we want to get out. It feels more expensive, but. Okay. It is, and so a lot of these men get remote jobs. And so they go there and they live in these countries and then they meet these women. And then women in the Western world, specifically the United States, are so pissed off about it. And they're like, you're going to all these countries where these women don't even know how to speak English. They can't even read. They're so uneducated. And then the men like film themselves with these women and like show themselves on dates. And the women are so elegant and they're so well spoken and they're so traditional. And they're like, look at these women. But yeah, passport bros. Because okay. Western women are so bad. Hmm. Did not know about that. Yeah. I mean, That's why I'm here. interesting. I mean, I, I, I did marry a, a woman from abroad. I mean, she she was been in America since she was 12, but uh -huh. still, she's Israeli. So. There you go. Yeah. You're like a reverse passport, bro. Yeah, exactly. Well, she came here and she got citizenship, so. Yeah. You didn't import her? I did, I did not import my, my wife, no. <laughs> Make that very clear. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Ugh. I mean, look, I love my country and I love my people. And when I say people, I mean Americans in general. And so I kind of don't like dissing Americans, it turns me off. Mm -hmm. But if people need to travel outside of America to find their partner, okay. Yeah, first of all, it's not like you call it passport bros, that doesn't make it new or whatever. Like going somewhere where the dollar can be stretched further and you think you'll have more control over the women that you enter in a relationship, that's not new, that's like, that's a really old thing. So, and you could do it, by the way. By the way, the, the thing that, I don't know that guy in the first video. Mm -hmm. The thing that that's the issue isn't what they're doing, it's the way that they are trying to clearly make sure we know that there's a spin to it in their videos. Mm -hmm. Like there are people who just want to live in another part of the world. They do like the culture, they do like the geography, they like the food or whatever. But when your whole thing is advertising to other men as an influencer, because you're the one putting out those videos, he's like, don't give me your grade school things. I didn't make you film that video, you put it out there because you're trying to sell a lifestyle and the lifestyle is luxurious exploitation. That's what you're trying, luxurious exploitation. That's what you're trying. What? Now I know he didn't go there. Why they gotta make it seem like these men are over there taking advantage of these women? Like like these men are over there essaying these women or something. Foreign women welcome and love these American men. How is he? Mm. Let's continue. I just, I love that she either just jokingly or felt like she needed to do PR for the guys. Like, you know, these are guys who are just like frustrated with the women, whereas there, they're super elegant. We're trash in this country. We're utter trash. By the way, the, by the way we're really there's fast. such wide variety in the United States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's trash if that's your thing. Sure. There's also a lot of classy, beautiful, independent, educated women. Like, I got the last one, there sorry. There are 330 million people in America. Like, why are we- All like, trash. No, but that's the thing, like okay. the PR is these guys are frustrated with women here because the women are bad. It's not that the guys can't hack it. It's not the guys don't have what it takes or can't evolve or learn, that they're not willing to meet people halfway, that they can't find a satisfactory relationship. It's that the women are trash. That's why they have to flee to another country. Listen, the gentleman in the TikTok video that we showed earlier, mm -hmm. it's just that like, 
there aren't a sufficient amount of women in America who are willing to like pour cups of jizz like substances on him as he's walking through the street. I streets. don't know exactly what, I assume that's like a festive <laughs> thing, I don't what know. What was but going on in that video? Does anyone know? Like what was that? It was the Sunkrong Festival. It's happening what, April 12th weekend? And I will be there in Thailand to see it. I don't I don't know, I, I haven't been to Thailand. We'll ask Brett, he's been there. But um, yeah, wh what they're doing can be fine. But they seem to want to make sure that we know that it's not, that this is an exploitative thing. This is a, you know, trying to down on westernized women or the fact that was, they believe they should have rights or something. It was soap, by the way, that they're throwing uh -huh. on him. It's a good start. So apparently, even in Thailand, they know he's a dirty boy, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's probably made his Listen, day if he sees you saying that, but. No, I, I hear what you're saying, by the way. Like, I have no problem with men doing this if they feel that this is what they need to do to find someone. Listen, It's not just men, me, by the way. Women don't go abroad to meet people? I mean, maybe they do. I, I'm i unfamiliar with that practice. I, isn't like eat, pray, love? Isn't love one of the three? Like, I think that's what people do. They I don't think there's a abroad. subculture of women in America who are like, men in the US suck. And no, no, so no, no, I'm gonna go to Thailand to find my yes, husband. Yes, I'm not saying the subculture. I'm just yeah. saying the practice exists. Sure. People go abroad and meet people all the time. Yeah, yeah. It's that they're trying to like layer this Andrew Tate pickup artist thing onto it. Look, I think that what the videos that they're posting are meant to say is that they're not happy with the women here. Like it's just mm -hmm. a way of insulting women in America. That's 100%. it. That's yeah. all it is. That's not um, the message I get from it, but that's definitely the message they want to say. What about the fact that these women has been assaulting these men for decades? They've been calling men losers, scrubs. And just to let you just know, we don't need y'all. We want y'all, but we don't need y'all. Telling us they don't need them. They have done nothing but insult, disrespect, divorce us, take our house, take our kids, put us on child support. Then they came around into men workspaces with this whole Me Too movement. Men are the ones who feel insulted, damn it. Yeah, and like the thing is, I'm not insulted by it because I know it's not true. Yeah, like, the, the woman in the video is like, and all these Western women are so mad that these guys left. Who, who's mad? They might mock them. They're not like, no, come back, I want you. That's not what's, I don't think that's what's going on. Listen, I'm a very, very happy, happy woman in my personal life, okay? Please I'm not Please tell upset. us more, please <laughs> tell us more. Are you sure? No, I'm good. Dead ass. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, but- Throw soap all, on me, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> in all seriousness, like to me, what it communicates to the rest of the world when videos like that are posted that are just meant uh -huh. to insult. What they don't realize is they're communicating to the world. I had a lot of trouble finding someone who was yeah. willing to date me. And so I went elsewhere where I think the culture has women who are more submissive. Like yeah. that's the way it 100%. comes across. All. You see that guys, they always gotta find a way to slip something in there. Like, oh, he can't get a girl here. It's not that he can't get a girl there. Maybe he's looking for the right type of girl to get. She knows how non-traditional American women are. There's nothing wrong with these men going overseas to find more traditional women, not submissive, traditional. Yeah. And so I'm not mad at that. Like I. I feel, I genuinely, I'm not just making this up, I genuinely feel terrible for people who feel lonely, right? Mm -hmm. So I agree. if that guy genuinely had difficulty finding a partner here and he had to go somewhere else to find a woman or the woman of his dreams, great. Yeah. But don't mischaracterize what's really going on here and don't make it seem as though like, there's a growing body of women in America who are seething over guys who are traveling elsewhere to find a partner, Yeah. no one cares. Yeah, like literally no one cares. Um, now, according to Urban Dictionary, the authoritative source uh, for content and information about things like passport bros. The passport bros are men who have chosen to seek out foreign women, typically from other countries for relationships. They believe that Western women have been influenced by cultural and societal pressures to behave in a certain way. Do I look like the kind of person who's pressured to behave in a certain way? Mm -hmm. I'm well, gonna behave how I wanna behave. And also to be clear, the countries they're going to don't have any cultural or social pressure on women. No, it doesn't no. affect them in any it's way. It's only in America. Mm -hmm. It's a American it's, it's new. thing. It's a yeah. new thing. There are no social pressures in any other country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what the people are saying. Yeah. Um, so they're seeking out foreign women so they can find a more authentic, fulfilling, and harmonious relationship. <sighs> okay.
Okay, and this is seen as a way to restore the natural balance between masculine and feminine energy and to avoid the wickedness of Western women. Well, I can be pretty wicked. You can. I also, I love Very the idea wicked. of like, these guys are like, all I need is like $5,000 so I can go have random sex with a bunch of women because they're wicked back here. I'm virtuous and moral as I try to have random sex on the beaches of Thailand. But these <laughs> damn whores in Minnesota are trying to corrupt my pure soul. Just need a loan so I can bang someone. Damn whores. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. Like, Look again, you could do it, you could do it. And lots of people do it. Like, yo, yo, cool. Now you have a hashtag, like name, label, or whatever, but like lots of people do it. But like, let's also just realize what's happening. There are a lot of men who either don't have it in them emotionally, spiritually, intellectually, or have been trained because they follow the wrong influencers that they can't keep up with society. Hmm. There's just a lot about society that they can't take. They literally can't watch a movie because if they see two people of the same sex kiss, they their pants like they can't keep up and so they flee somewhere where they think all of those things that scare them and make them feel anxiety and uncomfortable will be repressed by the state and by cultural and social pressures and because women are so repressed and they don't have rights they don't even have to go to the trouble of stripping them of the rights mm -hmm. and so it's guys who can't make it in a modern society who are fleeing to a place where things are set up to benefit them that's all it is you know what entitled losers on a news panel do sit there and complain about men that are living life on their own terms this content creator is not only creating content but he's also letting a lot of men know who need to know if you can and and if you have the financial means to go live in these countries you will have a better dating outcome versus the men who are over here deleting themselves going through all types of mess in marriage courts child support court losing everything they have in divorce court so yes the passport bros are letting men know there's a better way. You do not have to deal with a lot of the stresses of Western women. It just is what it is. It was very disappointing that they didn't do their research at all. But anyways, that's all I got in this video. You guys drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this news outlet talking about the Passport Bro movement. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.